now we are going to take up the new topic that is solutions so first uh, so before we proceed you should know that under what category it actually comes that means whether it is a element or it comes under category of compound or it comes under the category of mixture so we should know that so we all we know about the characteristics which are obeyed by the element compound and mixture you all are familiar now so considering those characteristics of element compound and mixture and also considering the characteristics of solution it uh, it was concluded that solution is a mixture and as we know the mixture are of two types if uniform composition and properties throughout so homogeneous mixture non uniform composition and properties throughout heterogeneous mixture so out of these two sub categories homogeneous and heterogeneous the solution falls under the category of homogeneous mixture right so that means so first of all the whenever you see a uh, solution it should be clear in the mind that it is a mixture right and out of the homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture it is the mixture which is homogeneous in nature right the second thing which must be striking in your mind that what are the constituents of the solution as we know mixture is formed when two or more substances or two or more constituents are generally mixed with each other and they are not chemically combined but just simple mix in any ratio right so the consider so just coming to the point that what are the actually the constituents of the solution so you should know whatever solution we take we categorize the constituents into two categories so we classify the constituents into two categories that is solute and solvent i will make you understand these terms by taking up a example of a daily routine suppose you wish to drink a sugar solution right so what you'll do you'll take a glass right a flask which will contain water and what you're going to do next you're going to add sugar into it right so they both unite to form a sugar solution that means a homogeneous mixture of two components right so we have a separate term which is used as solute and solvent right so in in this case in this example which i have stated sugar act as solute and water act as solvent now the question must be striking in your mind what are the characteristics are fulfilled by the sugar that it comes under the category of solute and what characteristics characteristics are fulfilled by the water that it falls under the category of solvent so i must tell you that solute is a substance which is present in small quantity right so out of these out of the constituents which are present in a very small quantity or you can say which are which is not a very small i have used a wrong word that means the component which is present in a small amount as compared to the other one that is regarded as solute so in this we are taking see we are taking so much volume of water but the sugar we are adding is a little as compared to it so sugar act as a solute and so that means solvent is that which is present in large quantity i hope that this first difference is clear to you the second difference lies uh, on the solubility what happens solute actually when you are dissolving sugar into water which is going to dissolve sugar or water obviously it is sugar which is going to dissolve so the component which gets dissolved is called as solute and the component which dissolves the other component is called as solvent so in this example sugar gets dissolved so it is considered as solute so solute has two characteristics one small quantity and it gets dissolved right and the solvent also has two characteristics one present in large amount and it dissolves the other compound it has the ability to dissolve other substance so i'm just writing the second difference so that means solute is that which gets dissolved and solvent is that which dissolves the solute or you can say the other component so which has the ability to dissolve the substance is regarded as solvent and the substance which has the ability to get dissolved is called as the solute so that means in this case we have uh, sugar as solute and water as solvent 
So that I think it's clear to you now that first thing that solution is a mixture. Second thing it is it is a homogeneous in nature means uniform composition and properties throughout from wherever we pick the sample. Third, the constituents are always going to be a solute and solvent, right? The substance in present in small quantity is solute and it also gets dissolved. And the solvent which is present in large quantity and it dissolves, the, it has the ability to dissolve the, uh, dissolve the other substance. So this is solvent, right? Coming to the more characteristics, we'll be taking the solution uh, topic in much detail. So coming to the, the second property, what does the solution possess is the concentration. We, the, the second topic we are taking up, if I say concentration of solution, so what do I mean by saying it? That if somebody asks you that tell me like if uh, this sugar is dissolved in water and we get the sugar solution and I ask you that what is the concentration of the solution? So you should know what does the concentration actually means. Concentration actually means the amount of solute which is present in given weight of solvent. That means, let me finish it off, Let's see. So uh, this, if I ask you what is the concentration of this solution, by asking this I mean that how much sugar is present in a given amount, a given weight of water. So if, if somebody asks you the concentration of any solution which is being provided, it means how much solute you have dissolved in the given weight of the solvent. So the solution comes on the basis of concentration, the, so, con, uh, the solution comes out to be of two types. One is dilute solution and the other is concentrated solution. Now if you wish to because it's not easy like if you're taking a glass uh, full of water in at home and just dissolving the sugar in it. So if I am asking you the concentration so it is not possible for you to tell the exact weight. You won't be able to say that yes ma'am I have dissolved 5 gram water, uh, 5 gram sugar into this much water uh, means so we general the term which we use to uh, you can say the uh, tell the concentration of the solution is that dilute or concentrated. Now what do we mean by saying that the solution is dilute? If you tell me that your solution is dilute, you mean by it that dilute means which has, which contain less quantity of solute. That means the quantity of sugar, if I, if I take this example, so if this solution is going to be dilute, if the sugar quantity is too small and the solvent quantity is too high. So any solution which contains more amount of solvent and less amount of solute is said to be, is said to be diluted or dilute. And what does concentrated means? Concentrated means it, possess, it has more amount of solute as compared to solvent means the concentration of solvent is less and concentration of solute is high. So whenever there is more concentration of solute and less concentration of water, your solution is going to be concentrated. And whenever there is more concentration of solvent and less concentration of solute, it is said to be diluted. So if you uh, this thing, take a glass of water and add one glass of sugar to it, then what is going to happen? The sugar quantity will always, all, obviously will be more. So it is said to be concentrated. And if you take a glass of water and just add a, a spoon of sugar to it, the solution is going to be diluted because it will contain more amount of water as compared to the sugar, right. So this is how when we talk about the concentration, this means uh, this diluted and concentrated. So this way you are going to answer it.